Greetings Earthlings, I am back with another gaming headset test video for you guys, and if you enjoy it, don't forget to subscribe by clicking the logo in the corner. So today I am reviewing these, the Logitech G933 Artemis Spectrum Snow wireless gaming headset. And I do need to mention that Logitech sent this gaming headset to me for the sake of doing this review. And if you are interested in this gaming headset, it'll set you back about 200 bucks on Amazon. And as per usual, link in the description. So let's go ahead and talk about what you get in the box. Obviously, you're going to get the headphones. You get a 3 meter USB cable. You get a 3.5 millimeter cable, which is 1.5 meters long. You get a 1 meter RC to 3.5 millimeter cable. You get a USB dongle for wireless performance. You get a 3.5 millimeter to 2.5 millimeter adapter. And you get some documentation which I have misplaced. So as far as the build quality of the headset, it is a mainly plastic construction, but it feels incredibly sturdy and really well put together. Both of the ear cups rotate about 90 degrees, so they will lay flat on your desk, as well as lay flat when hanging around your neck. And it also ensures that they'll fit nicely no matter what shape head you have. The padding on the ear cups and the headband are breathable, soft, and just all around very comfortable. On the bottom of the left ear cup, you'll find the USB port to charge it. You'll also find a 3.5 millimeter port for wire performance. Then on the back of the left ear cup, you'll find the volume wheel to control the headphones volume, as well as four programmable buttons, which you will program in the Logitech gaming software. And then at the very top, you have the power switch. And then lastly, on both ear cups, you will find magnetic covers. On the right ear cup, you will find a battery behind the cover. And on the left, you can store the wireless dongle. As far as specs, the headphones have 40 millimeter drivers and a frequency response of 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. As far as battery life, you will get about 12 hours of wireless performance with the lighting off and eight hours with the standard lighting on. The microphone has a cardioid polar pattern and a frequency response of 100 hertz to 20 kilohertz. While the microphone is unmuted, it does have latency-free monitoring in the headphones, and there is no way to turn that off unless you mute the microphone. And in order to mute the microphone, all you have to do is flip it back up into the headset. Now I'm spinning around the headset to determine what the actual polar pattern of the microphone is and how the audio changes as we move around the microphone's capsule. Now I'm banging on a keyboard directly in front of me to see how much of my voice versus how much of the keyboard the microphone picks up. Okay, so now you can see that I have my sound preferences open and my gain is currently set at 86%. I will go ahead and drop this down to 0% and slowly increase it so you can hear what kind of noise is generated by this microphone. Fifty percent, seventy-five percent, and one hundred percent. Now I'm going to go ahead and play some music with the headphone volume at fifty percent to see what kind of noise the microphone picks up from the headphone's drivers. Right now, I'm recording the microphone using wireless performance on my Mac computer, and my gain is set at around 87%. Now I'm recording the headset's microphone on a Windows 10 PC wirelessly, and my gain is currently set at around 89%. Now I've connected the headset directly to my MacBook Pro using the 3.5 millimeter cable and my microphone's gain is currently set at around 47% and I just wanted to show you how it sounds in this scenario. And now I'm recording the headset directly into my iPhone 6 using the 3.5 millimeter cable and once again I just wanted to show you how this microphone sounds in this scenario. Now let's just go ahead and briefly take a look at the Logitech gaming software. So the first tab down here allows you to customize the 3G buttons on the back of the left ear cup. The next tab down here allows you to adjust the lighting of the headset. The next is the battery assistant which walks you through what kind of battery life you're getting. Next we have the customizable audio so it has a couple of preset EQs here or you can actually adjust the EQ to whatever you want it to be. And lastly this just allows you to turn on or off the surround sound. Now I'm just going to go ahead and play some music and record it using my Zoom H2N. I should note it's not a super tight seal, so you will lose a little bit of the low end, but this will give you a good idea of how it sounds. <laughs> Overall, 
I think the headphones sound pretty dang good. The bass response is really nice and full without sounding muddy, and it doesn't affect the high end at all. You still get that really nice presence without it sounding shrill or drowned out. And then on top of that, if you're using this headset with a Windows machine, you have the Logitech gaming software, which allows you to adjust the EQ to whatever your likings are. As far as the microphone, it's really not that good, but I think for gaming, it will be perfectly sufficient. You're just not going to want to use this headset if you're recording podcasts or doing voiceover work. So I would absolutely recommend these if you're looking for a wireless gaming headset, because the headphones performance is just insanely good when you compare them to other wireless headsets. And really when you're gaming, that's what What's important. All right, guys. Well, I guess that'll do it for today. If you found this fun, interesting, or helpful, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you thought it sucked a big bag of dongs, give me a big old thumbs down. If you want more, subscribe by clicking the logo directly beneath me. And also, don't forget to vote for the microphones that you want reviewed next, as well as follow me on all the social media stuff. Links to everything, description down below. I will see you all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.